In this short video, I want to show you how to find the solution for the geometric series, which we used in a previous video. The geometric series is here. It is a sum a plus a r plus n so on plus a r to the n. And the explicit solution is given right here. This rather complicated looking formula a times 1 minus r to the n plus 1 divided by 1 minus r. So how do we get there? So let's start with a geometric sequence first. And a series is just adding up those terms. So I start with S0, which is the first term B0, which is just A. S1 is B0 plus B1, which is A plus AR. S2 is B0 plus B1 plus B2. So this is A plus AR plus AR squared, etc. And then this is A plus AR plus etc plus a r to the n. So the s n is a sum of the first n elements of the geometric sequence. Now for s n we can actually find a closed formula how to compute it. So here I write down s n again. This is a geometric series. Now I multiply this by r. This is a trick. So we multiply by r. Then we get a r, a r squared, a r cubed, etc, etc. And then the trick is to look at the difference. So I look at Sn minus R S N. Now see, in Sn we have all these terms, AR, AR square, etc., etc., here, which also appear here, uh, excluding the last term. So if I make the difference of these two terms, I keep the A, which is the first term from here, and I keep this term, which is the last term from this expression a times r to the n plus 1. All other terms cancel. You can sit down carefully and write it out on a piece of paper. You will see all other terms cancel. So then I factor out 1 minus r on the left, Sn equals, and here I'll factor out the a, 1 minus r to the n plus 1. And now I assume that r is non-equal to 1. Then we can divide by 1 minus r. And Sn is then a times 1 minus r to the n plus 1 divided by 1 minus r. So we do get an explicit formula for the geometric series Sn. This actually is an important formula and at some point you need to remember it. Let's look at the geometric sequence Bn is 2 times 3 to the n and the geometric series is given right here. So it's 2 plus 6, plus 18, plus 2 times 27, etc., etc. But instead of computing this long sum, I would like to use the formula. So Sn is 2 times 1 minus 3 to the n plus 1 divided by 1 minus 3. So this is exactly the formula I just derived earlier. Now we see in this case that the 3 and 3 to the n, etc., all this is bigger than 1. So the numerator and denominator are both negative. So we can flip them over and then we have positive terms. So why don't we do that? So then this is 3n plus 1 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. So I kind of multiplied minus 1 on the numerator and then a denominator. But then 3 minus 1 is 2 and there's a 2 in front so they cancel actually. So this is 3 to the n plus 1 minus 1. So it turns out to be a very simple formula. So let's look at the first few terms. So S0 if I sub in n is 0, then I get 3 to the 1 minus 1, which is 2. And this is exactly the 2 from here. If I look at the next term, s1, then I have 3 square minus 1, so 9 minus 1 is 8. Okay, And then if I do 2 plus 6, this is also 8. So that makes it the same thing. And if I look at the next term, maybe s2, then I have 3 to the power of 3, which is 27, minus 1 is 26. And then if I add those terms, I get exactly 26. So this is how the formula works. 